All right. I know this has all been documented already by governments and corporations and everything studying the refraction of different types of crystals of light and how at certain angles when you refract based on the crystal type formation how it atomically links it makes the light bend and shatter into different colors which is hyper useful for developing projectors, screens, etc. So all of this needs to be thought through. The, 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 the crescendo point, the rainbowing of all different types of common crystals, especially when they're manufactured in the laboratory where each atom is precise. Like, come on, we need to master this, that's all. My most major problem with everything that's uh, been happening with lighting is that they're refusing to use any um, like colored plastic for fogging so then I say okay well then we have to go with the logic here because I know what's cheaper there's more material even if it was gemstones being put into cheap plastic that's not logical so I always have to ask why the fuck do you think you get to do this I mean for example you know I already talked about mosses well, you could put those in plastic, and those aren't very expensive. Yeah. There's green and orange and uh, blue moss, all which is readily available. The red stuff's a little harder to get, and you might burn yourself because it comes out of, like, hot water areas, and it's maybe whatever. Anyway, <laughs> the point is this. There's not any colored light, basically, especially in, like, bigger setups. Yeah. Well, what I have to say about that is <laughs> crystal sync, crystal microphones, they sound so amazing. So what if we uh, employed um, the crystals, uh, what were you just talking about? Sorry. Uh, I was talking about mosses to fog plastic. Yeah. And now, in the form of Lighting, crystals, well... The, the problem is everybody's archaic and they say ruby, sapphire, emerald, even though that's more expensive and should be used for screens when there's other things that are green, red, and blue, or orange. We just need to fucking grow up and admit that crystals, just like metal, can send electricity as light. They can turn into a plasma that puts off light, like a diode in a light bulb. So what that means is we just need to master that uh, by minimizing the amount, the, the point, you gotta, it's like, you gotta make the light intensify through a point on the crystal, like a bottleneck point that's whatever angle, correct to the crystal, and then it'll create a point of light as it passes through there, and that's your light bulb. And what's so great about that is if you, usually when you change, this is common knowledge, usually when you change the frequency of the energy uh, or the or the wattage and all the stuff voltage going through a crystal light like that it changes color automatically to different hues like come on people one light you just have a dial on it and you should be able to adjust all the way around to different hues for yeah, uses like turning the crystal yeah that that either is the the um, diode itself or yeah. is over the diode, or maybe even both. And then you have infinite different color options. Yeah. Like, you know how uh, I always repeat this. Um, there's a, and this is like every time people suddenly go, oh yeah! When I say, hey, you know Dark Side of the Moon's album? It has a crystal with a light coming out of the yeah. different colors. If you don't give me <laughs> a cheap, goddamn, quartz fucking light bulb for my quartz goddamn fucking, um, you know, color bar, yeah. and I don't get to fucking have light that floods an entire room with an entire color, I'm gonna take your soul. I'm gonna rip your soul out of your chest while you're still alive. I'm going to eat it, shit it back down your throat into your body, and fill you with shit. Then I'm gonna beat your corpse into a bloody mass. Then I'm gonna take that mass, macerate it, turn your ass into grass, then I'm going to take that grass, and I'm going to shove that grass back up your ass! The quartz, um, is the, what needs to be mastered. It needs to be refracted. Like he's saying, the triangle principle, dark side of the moon, and actually utilize that for lights, for sets. They need to be available, grocery outlet, anywhere hardware store for cheap work lights they double as any type of light you can change the color but they can be a party light they can be any light you know come on
Stop fucking me over. Yeah, how Stop about fighting. some party lights at like Ross or wherever discount place where there's electron and it's <coughs> and you can change the speed and setting to go between different colors, you know? Or have it match a song like, you know, you input a chord from your MP3 and it auto detects the beats and actually changes the light colors, but with crystal shifting. So like you can practice do how fast the crystals can refresh, you know? And get it good for screens as well that way. My point is this. I don't care if I have to rotate a knob directly myself mm -hmm. to change the crystal inside of the fucking... You know, <laughs> yeah, thing. yeah, change the matrix angle. What, whatever is fucking cheapest. And I'm sick of people saying, Oh, oh, even quartz rotation to make light look like it's colored light? Or that'll be five billion jollies! I'm gonna rip your clock up, snap it in half, grind it in a mortar and pestle, <laughs> fade it to lions, then I'll have the lions rape your... You, your, what, what do you call that? Eunuch asshole. Till you're dead. I don't care. I'm gonna kill your entire family. I'm gonna burn the world to the ground. Yeah. Fuck you. That's what happens when you don't pay us, I guess. All that stuff and more.